So here's another look at the Butterfly Trails collection. So you have a 5 by 7 one, a 6 by 6 some sentiments, Butterfly Trails sentiments, Butterfly Trails die and stamp set and a stamp set on its own. Now these two will make gatefold cards for you which I've shown you in another video but today I'm going to use this and we're going to make some shaped cards. So these are the dies that you will get in the set and there are quite a lot of dies. So we'll make cards with these in another video but for this one we're going to use this set. By changing the colours to your basic card will create a different look for each one. So you could make baby cards in pink or blue. You could make um, cards for your ladies, lady friends in all of these colours. You could keep them quite plain and simple for male cards. But whatever you do, you're going to make the base card the same. So to create your base, you're going to need two pieces of card. Now there's two ways you can make your base. You can either cut this panel out singly three times or you can fold your panel in half. And this is just an A4 sheet of card. So I'm just going to fold that in half and I'm going to place this on the card with the wings just off the top. Now once that's been cut, that will give you a panel that looks like this but of course it's been flattened at the top because that's where the join is and that's your base card. Now to make sure that that flat piece isn't showing on your completed card you're going to need to cut another one and that then will fasten to this that will glue in place missing the top portions and that will create your base card for you. Now as I said to you the other way you can do it is to cut those all out in separate pieces and then with this you're going to fold it back by about half an inch. You're going to glue this piece to the top just along those little tabs. So you're just going to fold that in there, marry it all up And that will now give you a card that stands in tent fold. So there we have five cards now cut in different colours. As I said to you, the tops are flattened, so they've each got another panel that will sit on the top. And now we can start to decorate them. So each of these will get adhered to the base butterfly. And then for this one, I want some gold card. So I'm going to cut this again. And then in this, I'm going to add these patterned pieces. So I'm going to fasten them in place so that they don't slip. And I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine again. Now you may find it's better to cut them in two separate pieces. That way you'll get the pressure evenly over the die and it will cut nice and evenly for you. Now once you've done that, that will fit on the front of your butterfly and then from some silver card I'm going to repeat the same process with my dies. So there's my gold and my silver um, tops done for my butterflies. Now for this one I'm going to use some acetate and this is patterned acetate and I'm going to pop my die on there and run that through the machine. So there's my acetate piece cut, but because this acetate is so thick, I've managed to tear off one of the antenna. So I've taken the separate body piece and I've cut another one. And I also decided to cut an extra body piece for each of the um, oh, first three. And for this one, we're going to use some patterned paper. Now this is from a paper pack that is for the Pretty Book Collection by Card Making Magic. And I'm going to use this to decorate my butterfly. Now in this paper pack you get two of each design. So I've decided to take these and I'm going to use the dies that create the centre parts for the butterflies. And I'm going to place this one along there 
and on this one I'm going to use the corresponding one for the other side and I'm going to place that along there and I'm going to die cut both of those those out now for my butterfly's wings so there's my wings cut for my butterfly and from the same paper I'm going to use this long strip and I'm going to cut the body line so there's my basic butterflies done for four I've, set, I've cut the body line separately but for this one I'm going to do something different so I'm alternating my colours between plain which is pearly and glitter and using these dies from the 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 wing section I have cut the patterns that I want so let me show you what I've done so with these I have cut them in glitter and we'll just add it onto this one that's the base and then with the plain ones which are the next dies down I have cut them in uh, the pearl card which will sit in there so the first thing we need to do is attach all these bases to the bodies but the thing I'm going to do with this first is that I'm going to add some paint effect on this and I'm going to use brush oil crystals so with these I'm just going to add a little bit of the powder to the base card just a little bit now I don't imagine that you can see that but then I'm going to take some water and I'm going to spritz it and that will add the colour that will make the colour pop so I'm just going to add some more because I want it a little bit deeper and again we'll just spritz that now what we need to do now is leave that to dry so while that's drying we'll get on with the rest of the the, the, the designs, the cards. So just adding a little bit of glue around the edges. I'm going to add these to the base. So we make sure that everything marries up now is your base card and that will stand in tent fold. And now we can get on with the rest of the decoration. So to this blue one I'm going to add the silver card and all I'm going to do is just put some curve in those wings very gently because I don't want to rip it and we'll fold it up from the body line and we'll add this to that card base now just adding glue along the body Now that's got some curve to the wings, but that will also stand in temp fold. Now to add the body line, I'm going to use some foam tape. So there's my foam tape on the back. I'm just going to line that up with the body line. Press that in place. And that's one card now ready for decorating. So let's do this next one. The wings are going to sit along here. But before I add these wings, I'm going to use these same dies, which are these, and I'm going to create another base for this to strengthen these, because these, these are only paper. So I'm going to use some pink card and cut those again. So once I've cut those again, I can add these to the top of those and that will give that a little bit more strength there we go now we can also add some curve to these wings we've added the base together we can add some curve to these and they will sit along there and that 
will go there. Now, to keep those rings, wings raised a little bit, I'm going to add some foam underneath. So we'll add some foam along there and some along there. And then we'll add glue to this end portion there. And that can now fit on the wings along there. And we'll do the same to this side. Just add a little bit of glue down there and we'll line that up on the other side. Press it down, press the centre portion down and then we can add with some foam tape underneath it the body line. And again marry up the antenna so that it all fits in place. It does help when you take the backing paper off. Wings on this one are raised a little bit. Now it's not quite as easy to bend the wings on the acetate, but we'll still add this piece to the base. I'm sorry for all the banging. There's some building work going on further up the road. Now you can add some shape to this, but you won't get a lot of shape in it. But again, you're just going to glue this along that body line. So we'll chop that antenna off as well. In fact, we'll chop all those off. That's it. And now, when we add the body line in, the antenna will be separate. So we can do that along there. Now, you can add that with foam tape if you wish, but do be aware that the foam tape may show through the acetate. So we'll spread this glue out We'll add that to the centre and once that dries, that glue will dry clear. So there's our third one done. Now let's come to the, the orange one. And again, we're going to add this to the base. And again, make sure it's all married up and the antenna. And now we can start to add in these pieces. And we'll add these pieces in there with some foam. So I'm just adding the foam pads around the edge. And this is the inner edge so that the outer edge of the wings is still free. And we'll add this on there. Now because we're going to be adding the rest of this to glitter, we're going to need to add a double piece of foam and wet glue. So we'll add this along there. Otherwise you'll find it won't stick to the glitter. But the wet glue will make that stay in place. So we can add this along here, make sure that's pressed down and then we can add the other pieces in either with foam pads or with wet glue. So in the time that I've been doing these my other butterfly is now dry and just to add a little more interest to this I'm going to colour it in with some, um, some Copic markers. So we'll just colour that in and we'll bring the orange out along the wings just in flakes
and the same on this side. And then we'll go to a different shade. We'll go to this one, I think. And we'll take that just a little bit further. So once you've blended that out and you've added in your gold and you've added it to the top of your base card, you then have another card ready that you can decorate. Now, from so the Butterfly Trails Sentiments, I've cut Birthday Wishes in silver and I'm going to add that to my pink card. And I've dotted some pink pearls around the centres. Now down the centre of this lilac one, I'm going to add this bling. So I'm just going to dot this down here. And we'll shorten that down along the bottom. That's it. I will find a sentiment to go in that. On this silver one, I think we'll add some pearls down the body line. So for my butterflies, I've used some of the um, Butterfly Trails sentiments on these two. I've die cut Hello Sunshine and Birthday Wishes. For this one, I've used the um, I've used the Butterfly Trails die and stamp set, and I've stamped in black ink and then clear embossed on silver card two of the butterflies. I've added some bling to this and some flowers down the side. And for this one, I've added a new home to the glitter card and I've just added in some flowers. Now, all I need to do now is just glitter up my flowers and these will be ready. So I'm just going to take some glue and just dot this onto the, the petals. So now with the glitter, we can just sprinkle some glitter onto the top of the flowers. And once that glue is dry, that glitter will lie flat. So there are all my shaped butterfly cards. I've used various techniques on them to get the look that I want. I've used gold and silver um, glitter uh, mirror card. And I've used acetate on this one, glitter card on this. The paper pack that I've used is this Pretty Books Backgrounds paper from Card Making Magic. And I've used the 6x6 butterfly trails collection along with the butterfly trails sentiments and the die and stamp set the fly trails versus 